Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. AMC and c will undoubtedly achieve success in Delaware. 8. Decision According to Riley, AMC and c Entertainment's powers are awaiting the settlement's ultimate decision for at least one additional week. However, according to Birelli, the decision will likely have a favorable impact on the conversion, quote unquote. While we recognize that the decision could go either way, we remain optimistic that it will be in favor of the proposed settlement. According to Eric Wound of Pirelli, a special master appointed by the court to provide an opinion on the settlement has recommended that it be approved. In addition, they stated that the chancellor must seek a resolution of some sort in order to provide AMC with a clearer path to the global exhibition industry's recovery in the best position possible for shareholders. Given that the AMC may only marginally achieve positive free cash flow by 2024, and surprise, surprise, it wasn't just implying that there is a possibility for the ape stock to move, but also that the common stock could move to the upside, which is extremely unexpected. Eric Wold stated that he believes the prices of ape units and AMC common stock should converge as the settlement approaches. However, they also stated that upward pressure on ape units is more probable than downward pressure on AMC common stock. Upon the emergence of additional factors, AMC may have a greater potential for growth. Possibilities for AMC to reduce outstanding total debt and pursue new growth in order to increase adjusted EBITDA. We are likely in one of our strongest positions ever. Therefore, such information is completely, completely false. However, they continue to do it because they want you to sell your shares. And again, it goes both ways. For example, if this new piece of information were true, and we discovered that AMC would file for insolvency, your first thought would be to sell your AMC shares. Imagine, however, that this news was changed to that. AMC has repaid all of its debts and amassed a substantial cash reserve. It would then give you the effect of purchasing AMC shares, e. it would increase your position in AMC. And this is why I mentioned that strengthening the fundamentals won't cause AMC to struggle, but rather it will elevate AMC to a much higher level. Now. More from Crystal Ball discusses the importance of stock accumulation. Forget about irrelevant until moon for the time being and simply take advantage of the discount if you can weather the downturn. Perhaps I should not mention this, but all of these factors, expectations, and pricing forecasts are solely based on the company's fundamental value. No one here prices the short interest, no one prices the loan shares, and no one prices the degree to which these securities are shorted. And of course, the cost to borrow, which is sky high at the moment, will alter the distribution of the float. This is not something that requires a special mastery or stock market expertise to understand. If Chancellor approves the settlement, this will alter when someone is willing to sell the shares, when someone is willing to purchase even more shares, and when and how AMC will issue more apes and AMC in the future. And once again, this is just one more prediction on the line joining the many others that have already stated that AMC will converge with the primate. This is what many of these industry experts anticipate. There will be a favorable result. Everyone is so confident that the actual settlement will be approved by the chancellor. I have not read a single article prediction from analysts or even a regular finance blog or website stating that there is a possibility that the chancellor will reject the settlement. This is unexpected. And we all know that the stock market adores surprises. Please let me know what you think about this. Do you believe the Chancellor will officially approve the settlement next week or not? It will delay for an additional week, which may place additional pressure on the markets.